Hello! In this video we're going to be covering two different bag add-ons. Uh, one that's good for like general just use if you just want to crank up something that's going to uh, be a little bit better than the standard Blizzard bag uh, user interface. And then we're going to have another one uh, that's a little bit more complicated. It's going to give you some more options if you want to be a little bit more particular about uh, how your bag operates. So. Uh, first thing we're going to do, we're going to go in here, we're going to make sure we've got our uh, our bags <clears throat> add-ons turned off. So by default, you're going to see uh, your Blizzard bags over here. You've got each of your bags that are on your bar, and they all have their own separate little windows, and you can kind of click off that that one or this one. Uh, and, you know, by, by default, uh, your new items go in here. And they start to fill up throughout your bags. You can click your little cleanup bags thing here, and that will sort your bags for you. You can also click on a bag and, you know, click ignore this bag on cleanup or this bag up here. You can ignore. You can put your trade goods, consumables, equipment. So if we went and changed this to trade goods and then we sorted, you'll see that all our trade goods will get sorted into this bag. Uh, but we'll go ahead and turn that off. So that's the default bag UI. You know, it's it's serviceable. It definitely gets the job done. Uh, but sometimes you want a little bit extra or you want a little more flexibility. So the first add-on we're going to talk about is called Bagnon. Bagnon is a add-on that I think is really good if you just want to keep things fairly simple but get a UI you have some control over. Uh, for your bags. So the first thing that Bagnong does is if we pop up our bags, you're going to see we have one window for all of our bags. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go through and showcase some of the more common features that you would use. We're not going to go into every teeny tiny little detail, uh, but we'll cover the things that most people are going to want to be able to mess with. So first off, <clears throat> up here we've got our uh, window here. You can see we can alt drag to move. By default, we can also just click it and drag it to move. Uh, we can right click if we want to open up the configuration window. And we can double click to search for an item. So let's say we wanted to search for, you know, this red shirt. We could start typing in red and it's going to show us, oh, here's red shirt. That's got hereditary and this has skewered in there so we can Go ahead and red shirt, and you can see it's going to highlight this one item for us, and make it really easy for us to find. So cool search feature there. Uh, we also have some buttons right here. So this uh, little telescope looking thing here, you can click that to search if you don't want to use the double click uh, option. We have our little swirly button here. This will clean up our bag, so we can hit that. And it will sort our bags for us. So my bags are already sorted. Let me mess them up a little bit here. And we'll see if we click clean up bags. It's going to sort all that out for us. This one here that looks like our backpack. If we click on this, it'll show the different bags. And we can hover over. So this is all the items in our backpack. We can click off of our backpack to hide that in this interface. Now, by default, if we open it back up, it's going to stay hidden. So if you have a bag that you just don't want to see in this inventory ever, that's a really simple way to hide it. Uh, so we could actually, you know, click off everything except for our backpack. And now anytime we hit the B button, we're just going to see that backpack. Obviously, that's not ideal, uh, but that's okay. Uh, and then <clears throat> over here, we have our configure uh, options for our window. We can also get to that by right clicking on our uh, title up here. That's going to open the configuration window, which you can see right here. So if you click on Bagnon, you're going to get uh, a couple of different options here. Uh, really, the only two that you're probably going to want to mess with are lock frames. So if you click lock frames, it makes it so that you can't click and move the bags so you won't accidentally throw them out of position. And also character specific settings, that'll let you uh, make sure that if you for some reason want to do things differently on one character or another, you can use that. 
Uh, so those are really the only options that you're going to want to mess with there. In the frame settings, this is where you do the majority of the customization. Uh, first off, the drop down here will let you choose which frame uh, you want to modify. So right now we're modifying our inventory. We could change that to modify our bank, our guild bank, or our void storage windows. We're going to focus on inventory because the same rules pretty much apply to all the different windows. Uh, <clears throat> Don't worry about this act as standard panel. That basically just makes the uh, window position itself uh, like any other window would in World of Warcraft uh, by default. And then it makes it so that you can't move it. We're trying to customize our bag. So we uh, obviously want to set it up exactly how we want to. So don't worry about checking that. You can display a bag list. Uh, there's a couple other things here. Uh, if you want, you can turn off like the sort button, so you can take that away. Uh, you could take away your options button, things like that right here. Also, this is where you can toggle on or off showing your money. <clears throat> but then this is where we really get into it with the appearance. So we're going to skip all these, and we're going to take a look at these bars down here first. Now we can change the uh, <clears throat> item scale. And that's going to increase the size of our items or decrease it. So you can set that to be as large or small as you want. You can modify the opacity of your bag. So you can, like in this form here, we can't see through it at all. But you could drag that opacity down. And now you can still see through your bags uh, if that's something that is interesting to you. The spacing between the different items. So in this case, they're like overlapping, but you could also bring it out so that you have a lot of space between uh, each item. So that'll reduce some of the visual clutter for you. Uh, <clears throat> then we have the scale. This just determines whether it really zooms in or it really zooms out. And then we can also change the number of columns. So this will let us make our turn our bag into more of a wide rectangle instead of a tall one make it a square whatever we like and for these different values you can click and then you can actually type whatever you want so i could put like 15 columns there so you don't have to rely 100 percent on the sliders here uh, so we'll just leave ours like this actually we'll go ahead and make it so it doesn't overlap with this window here then we can get into our appearance. You can reverse the bag order if you want. So this will make it so that your uh, backpack is on the bottom instead of the top. You can reverse the slot order and that makes it so that uh, your last item appears first instead of your first item appearing uh, last or you know, vice versa. You can put a bag break in and this will show that there will be empty rows between each bag. So now Whereas this looks like one big unified bag, you put those bag breaks in and you know, okay, this is one, two, three, four, five. You could change the background color to whatever you like. So say we wanted to make it a, a, a you know, kind of bluish purple, we could do that and have that in the background. We can also change the border color. Let's say we wanted to make it some weird green and now we've got a green around there. Uh, so those are the appearance options that you can mess with there. And that's going to really let you kind of customize this exactly the way you want it. So that, you know, maybe you have trouble with the default icon size. Well, you can either scale the items up so you can see those a little better. Or maybe you don't want your bag to take up a lot of space. So, you know, you can uh, <clears throat> scale it down and scale the items down. So that really you're just trying to hover through these tiny icons. Whatever you like there. Uh, I'm going to cancel that. And we're going to go ahead and put this back to our nice black with our white border. Go ahead and put our items kind of back up to where they were. And that's good enough for now. All right, so that's the uh, frame settings. You can go into the automatic display. This tells you uh, when your uh, bags are automatically going to display. So for example, we had there uh, visiting the bank. So when we visit the bank, our bags are automatically going to open. So if we go over here to the bank, 
Boop. You can see that our bag automatically opened. Also, our bag is one big thing as well. And you can use the same customization options on the bag. Okay. If we go into our options now and we toggle that off, visiting bank, hit OK. Then when we go in here and we visit the bank, it doesn't open our banks our bags automatically. So there may be circumstances where you just don't like having your bag window always pop up. Uh, so you can go into automatic display and you can change that. Then we have our color settings. Uh, this allows us to do things within the bag uh, on like a per item basis. So we can highlight items by quality. If we turn that off, everything just looks the same. When it's on, we're gonna see our purples. We're gonna see our greens. Everything will have a quality. Uh, we have highlight new items, quest items, uh, unusable items, just a lot of different highlights here. Uh, we can also change the color for our items. So let's say we wanted our, what do we have in here? We got our, I've got, you know, reagents. I've got some reagents in here somewhere, like the lean shank there. Uh, so we could change that, reagent color make it like a blue uh, that's actually for the bank um, <clears throat> but you can change your different uh, matte colors in here I'm trying to find like where's my cloth <laughs> there's like nothing in here that's actually in my bag uh, so I can't show that off right now uh, but that's okay you could change those in here and then also your highlight brightness you can crank it up or turn it down so it's a little more subtle. Uh, and then there are rule sets that you can get into, but this is more of an advanced feature. And I honestly recommend Bagnon as just the kind of, I like to have a single big bag that I can customize add-on that you use. Uh, so that kind of covers Bagnon. You could set this up however you like. Uh, <clears throat> once again, just a quick run through. You can lock your frames. You can have character specific settings. You can go in here. You mainly want to look at the appearance uh, and use that to modify the shape of your bags. Uh, automatic display will let you uh, determine when you display the inventory and when you close the inventory. You've got your color settings for the items within your bags. And then there are some rule sets there if you want to use them. So that's Bagnon. Now we're going to talk about a different add-on. We're going to go in here to our add-ons. We're going to turn off Bagnon. And we're going to take a look at Arc Inventory. Arc Inventory is the bag add-on that I recommend if you want a little more control over what your bag is doing. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and open this up. And you're going to see this looks a little bit different, right? It's one window, but I've got multiple things going on in here. And so what is happening is that each of these little sections has its own rule set. And the rule set determines what items get put into that section. So this section here is just kind of my default. Anything goes in there. That's my main bag. And the cool thing about this is your this section, if I fill it up and something else needs to go into it, it will expand and automatically and add another column. So it automatically will resize if you need more space. So this is my kind of catch all everything, kind of like my backpack. This window is set up so that it will <clears throat> select any items that are soul bound to me and that are below item level 180. So if I go back and I run old raids, which I have done here, uh, all this old gear that I'm not going to wear and I probably just want to sell because I was just collecting it for transmog or whatever, is going to go right into this bag and then I know, okay, I can just sell all this stuff off. Whereas something like my artifact weapons, which have uh, an item level higher than 180, when they're in this, uh, they're going to go in this bag. They won't go into this bag. So I'll know that anything over here, or for example, I have this pair of pants, item level 192, they're not in this bag. So this means that I can put all the gear that I know I'm definitely not going to equip into this bag and just sell it, pretty much. This bag here is set up to hold all 
crafting reagents. Uh, anything that is a material for crafting, whether it's enchanting or whatever, so that I know that I'm collecting all those items here. They're out of this bag. Uh, I can see the stacks of them. I can figure out if I want to sell them, keep them, send them to another character. This column here has any uh, bind on equipped items that I have that aren't soul bound to me yet. Uh, usually these are going to be green quality, but not always. <clears throat> And this lets me take a look at them and see, like, have I collected the appearance? You know, do I need to send this to someone who can collect the appearance for me? Uh, that kind of stuff. And then finally, this little one up here is where all my uh, gray vendor junk goes. Uh, just so I don't have to worry about looking at it in my main bag here. So those are some of the bags I have set up. I'm not going to cover all the ways you can customize this stuff, but I am going to show you generally how you use the add-on. So once again, uh, we've got some symbols up here, just like we had in Bagnon. The first one will refresh your bags. So uh, if you've gotten new items and you want to make sure that they're sorted, you can hit refresh and following all the rules and stuff you've set up, it will refresh your bags. Uh, we have the bag changer that will display this here so you can see i can click uh, and this allows me to change the positioning of my bags if i want to it also highlights what spaces go with what bags so as you can see here uh, in this bag i've actually got items in three different uh, columns here so you can toggle that on or off we have restack that just will resort your stuff toggle location uh, this will let you change. For example, I could change to my bank, and this will show my bank bags. Uh, switch character, you can actually change and look at the bags of a different character. So, like, I can look at my warrior's bags here. Toggle back to my death knight. Search, so we can do the same thing if we want to look for that red shirt again. Uh... We can see our red linen shirt, there it is. That lets you check your bags for a particular item. Uh, rules is where you can go in and set up custom rules. There's a lot of flexibility, a lot of stuff you can do with this. So if you really get into it, you're going to want to use the resources available that tell you how to set these rules up. I'll show you this one here. So this is setting it up so that uh, this is my low idle item level rule. It's the one that I'm using for this bag here. It says I level minimum I level of zero, maximum of 180, and it's equipable and it's soul bound. So any item that meets those conditions between item level zero and 180 uh, is a piece of equipment and is soul bound will go into that bag. Uh, and there's a lot of different things you can do with this. Uh, this might look like complicated coding type stuff, uh, but I basically just copy pasted what I needed from the resource website and filled in the appropriate blanks. Uh, so that's your rules. Uh, and then you can go into edit mode. And this is what allows you to apply your rules and conditions and things like that to your bags. Uh, we're going to take a look at that in just a minute. If we go over to our big bag here, we can click our menu and go to configuration. And that gives us the configuration uh, window here. So there's a lot of stuff in here. Uh, you can, you know, uh, this is auto open and close like we had in Bagnon. So you could say, okay, open at the bank, don't open at the bank. Uh, for junk, you can set it up to auto sell your junk as soon as you open your window at a merchant. Uh, I like to have that feature on. <clears throat> the menu font size, your messages and alerts uh, if you need them. We've got the new item glow as well, so you can change the color of that if you want. Uh, your tooltip colors and things like that. Uh, transmog, this will show you if you've learned a transmog or if you can't learn it. Uh, <clears throat> And then the timers and workarounds you don't really need to worry about. 
Uh, in the settings, this is where you can get into uh, the different settings that you can uh, set up. Like, you can sort things different ways. As you can see, this is, like, really complicated. I don't want to go too far in depth because you're either going to want to know about this and use it. And you'll go figure it out, find the resources, or you're not interested in this at all because it's way too complicated. Um, but, yeah, there's a bunch of different settings that you can use in here uh, as well. So that is uh, the Arc Inventory mod. I'm going to show you real quick in edit mode. There are some things you can do without getting into complicated, crazy rules. Uh, so for example, I've got, you know, an alcoholic beverage here and some peanut chicken. Uh, I can click on any of these numbers. So this will tell me bar one, bar two, bar three, bar four. Let's go to bar five. We can click on that and we can go to assignable categories and we can look for consumables and we can go in and we can do food and drink, assign, and now that's going to move our food and drink over into that bag. If we go to consumables, food and assign, that's going to move our peanut chicken over there. So you can see with you know, a couple of clicks, I was able to create a bag now that is going to contain all of my food items. Uh, so there's some pretty easy ways uh, to set this up. Over here, all I did was I did categories, system, junk. I assigned this bag or this bar to hold all my junk. Uh, this one has equipable items. And because I already have some other rules set up, all my greens go in here. And this one actually has uh, reagents, and then it has every other trade good in there. And all I did was go to trade goods, select that one I wanted, and hit assigned. Uh, so <clears throat> that's how you can set this up. Uh, once again, on this one, we just clicked the number we wanted. We went to assignable categories, consumables, and we added our food and our drink there. Uh, so there's a lot more to those add-ons. I just wanted to show those off. I personally like to use Arc add-on because I do a lot of legacy raid farming and being able to just pop open my bags and see that all this stuff here is just old stuff that I can go ahead and vendor is really nice. And uh, But if you're not looking for something that complicated, then Bagdon is a great uh, add-on to use as well just for some nice generic uh, bag sorting. All right, so I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.